Let's get to new video right now uh, into our newsroom. This looks like a backyard perspective following initially after this crash. That smoke billowing up, the flames you see spark up a little bit there. So safe to say that this is minutes after that crash first happened into the building. Uh, so far, this video incredibly similar to so many of the others we've gotten this morning where the perspective, the horrifying nature of it is nothing short of astonishing. Uh, all morning long and the reactions too, because we've been bringing down the audio's uh, level on a lot of these reactions because they are what you would presume to be. You, you notice a body, someone there at the top of the screen ever so briefly, perhaps a first responder. Hard to tell or exactly confirm who that was from this angle, but uh, just understand how the severity of the situation from every angle we've been able to talk to. Uh, someone who said they, it was it was their family, it was their friends, their family that was in the uh, in the building where this crash happened and was taken to a hospital. That's one of the things we're going to be focusing on, where we have a crew going to the hospital to try and check in on the conditions of the victims. Taking a look at this video now, uh, wonder if these are the two we saw on the roof making their way down right now uh, from this side of things. Obviously, this is still v very, very much a uh, work in progress as we try to confirm all of this information because so much of this is just putting the pieces together and trying to find out exactly what happened. Uh, going back to what we said first about half an hour ago, which is that there still hasn't been an update since last check-in as to when this presser, this update from officials is going to happen. Again, it could be within the next 15 minutes or so. It could be within the next hour. We know that BSO is on the scene. We know that uh, other officials in Pompano Beach are on the scene as well. We've checked in with uh, all of our crews at the location uh, right now. But uh, Eric JC, it, this wow. is certainly something that just doesn't become any less stunning the more the different angles you see it which so no, far no, it becomes video. more stunning. I feel like we, we keep getting more and more and more and now we're seeing these men walk off that roof down that ladder. You can see the man on the ground kind of breathing. Sure. And this isn't a sigh of relief. This is a sigh of life. Mm -hmm. I'm alive. The other gentleman's coming down and I can only imagine what's going through their heads and their hearts and knowing that Again, we don't have this confirmed, but we're we're assuming based on how many people were on the chopper that we may have lost one person at, at least at this point. So here they are alive, possibly losing a colleague, a friend, somebody yeah. they care about, and then they're walking off a chopper, seeing as walking off a roof, I yeah. should say, seeing their chopper in the distance on fire in flames, knowing that could have been their lives lost. I mean, these videos are so powerful, so moving. We cover breaking news all the time, Eric, but we don't see things like this. This is not a normal crash landing where you get to see what everybody on the ground saw and you see these men, they were saved from the flames. Crawling, Look at this. Crawling across the roof of that building, obviously in pain. Um, you see they had their helmets in their hands or white helmets. Clearly, they were flying on that helicopter. A neighbor brought a ladder over uh, to help get those men off of the roof of that building and stands back in wonder and awe, as we all do, as slowly, rung by rung, they make their way down to the ground. And I can't imagine the shock that they are feeling at this moment, the, the almost impossibility that they, that they somehow emerge from this. Um, and it highlighted certainly when that one gentleman who's coming down the ladder first gets to the ground and just sort of sits, um, you can tell he's trying to figure out exactly what just happened and probably cannot believe that he has survived. Well, it's like those of us who've been in car accidents, sure. right? When you're running on adrenaline, you're alive, but your car is crashed. I mean, that's what has happened here, but this is a helicopter crash. We know how deadly they can be. We know how dangerous they can be. And that's why I said, I mean, looking at that video right now, the, you're not saying, oh, oh, I'm okay. You know, I, I just, I just crashed into the, you know, the, the side, uh, you know, this sign on the side of the road. These, these men are saying we survived a helicopter crash into a building. In the same breath, as you mentioned, um, I'm sure trying to process the potential loss of life from a colleague mm -hmm. that may have not survived that helicopter crash, because we do know at least one person did pass did die in this crash. Three were on board. We do know those two that you saw climbing down the roof were taken to the hospital with 
minor injuries, collectively speaking, not in critical condition. And we saw them clearly able to navigate the roof of that building and come down the ladder for the most part under their own power.